Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome back to the episode of Uta Macross Gacha videos. So if you guys are wondering why is this video a bit late, well, I do apologize. Um, life has been harsh <laughs> and I've been very tired from my full-time job. So yeah, and of course there are priorities in life uh, aside from all the YouTubing and of course gaming that I usually do. Um, but yes, now that I have time, I have a bit of energy, let's get down to it. We are going to talk about the brand new um, costume for Mikumo. Well, it's not exactly new, it's kind of old and Mikumo finally, and I cannot emphasize the word finally, because the rest of the Wild Korea ladies have already gotten the costume way before <laughs> the 7 star episode plate was introduced and Mikumo is finally able to get yes, her Blau Bloom costume so interestingly enough this episode plate of Mikumo is the only Waukure episode plate of, ba of the Blau Bloom costume that is of the modern standard of the 6 star episode plate. So let's take a look at Mikumo's brand new Blau Bloom 6 star episode plate and see how does it fare. Um, you know, maybe it's time for the rest of the Raukure members to update on their episode plates soon. Who knows? Alright, so 3884 total score. Well balanced stats all around. Not, not much of a, you know, difference in gap. So that's a good thing. Of course, you want to pay attention to the other three characters who are usable um, with this episode plate, which is always key, especially when it comes to that um, diva improvement event uh, at the end of the month. So this time round, we are going to go through the high score events. So that will be our next month's concern. So, anyways, center skill. Um, if you if you use this episode plate on the blue series or the soul um, type songs, which is basically the blue, all right. Um, units total is boosted by thirty five percent up as usual. Thirty five percent is not the best percentage you can attain, um, but of course it's mainly focused for a specific song type. So with that said, we know that this episode plate, in fact, all the 6 star episode plates are kind of like that now. Ever since the introduction of the 7 star episode plates, they are no longer used as center position episode plates, but life skill support. So let's take a look at the second page, which is what we are really um, concerned about. Active skill, for 5 seconds, score is boosted by 70%. So you know, it is still planned that this episode plate can be a substitute for a center position episode plate, especially for new players who have yet to attain a single copy of a six star or a seven star episode plate. You know, it is still an optional choice. Um, but still, uh, with Dana or DNA, it depends on how you want to pronounce the company's name. Um, They've been tossing out so many generous gachas, you know, like improved um, pool rates of 2% from the usual 1% um, from featured 7 star episode plate gachas, you know, the step up gachas. Um, and of course, there are step up gachas that really feature 7 star episode plates, you know, even though they're older ones, but still essential for getting good high scores for new players and the like. So yeah, and here we have the most important skill, life skill, mode score up. So eh, is this episode plate actually good or not? To be honest, I've actually got an episode plate of Sharonome that has this skill and it's fully powered up. Um, but the thing is, I barely use that episode plate, even though it has good stats on it, you know, because usually episode plates like this, they come with pretty decent um, total score, like we saw just now. Um, it's close to 3,900, which is the best total score you can get on a 6-star episode plate. Um, but you know, the skill itself, it's not exactly... If you, mm, How would I put it? Um, Usable? I mean, it is usable, it's just that you you don't really use it 
that often or at all. So that puts this episode play in a really um, sticky situation. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at the last page to see whether this episode play can be saved. And uh, <laughs> so we have yet to see any episode plates that have that skill um, come with a special notes uh, attached to them. So it's kind of a bummer. I don't. I don't understand why um, DNA or Dana is is trying to implement with this style of episode play. I mean, it's it's good for you know practice high score runs, but to really get a good high score, uh, you have to get good. So <laughs> technically, getting good doesn't require you to have this skill. So yeah. So in this case. Do you need to attain this episode plate if you are a generic Utami Cross player? Uh, no, sadly to say no. Um, you can save your singing stones for maybe um, 7 star step up gachas in the future and just bypass this gacha. But of course, if you're a costume collector just like myself, uh, I would say just spend the bare minimum the discounted 300 single stones for the template pool I think you should be good of course there are situations where you end up not getting a single episode plate with costume points at all <coughs> looking at you last video of mine <laughs> so yeah uh, things like that can happen so anyway guys let's do this we're gonna go with the bare minimum as usual but before we do so we're gonna do the usual ritual nowadays Let's pull that single free pool to see how the luck is for this afternoon recording. Okay. So we're expecting to see nothing. There we go. We have nothing at all. Which is fantastic. <laughs> because technically, we don't want to waste our luck on the single free pool. Um, once again, last video, <coughs> you were horrible to me. <laughs> okay. So... It's still a pretty rare common plate considering the quantity I've attained for it. So yeah, I guess the luck might appear soon. So we're gonna go ahead and pull another free gacha pool with the afternoon um, daily free pools. Hopefully you've been actually pulling all these daily free pools. If you guys didn't know by now, considering that we are going into four years worth of full time across. Um, there is three daily free pools, <laughs> so yeah, make use of them, gain some nice costume points and illustrations from FSO plays. All right, so this one is pretty mediocre in rarity, considering that I don't have like hundred copies of them. You know, some some of my common episode plates really have over two hundred copies. Which is just ridiculous. So, alright, so the luck is still not there. We're gonna go ahead and use the Super Dimension or Cho GQ Gacha to pull out the good luck. So hopefully, I mean, if the good luck does come out on this pool, it's pretty okay considering that this Gacha is able to pull out 7 star episode plates. Um, so, it's fine. Okay, so we do get a decent load speed right there. You should see at least three Valkyries. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> Which is okay. It means that the actual gacha pool later might be better. And I have to emphasize on the might as usual. Okay. Mm, lots of costume massive episode plates. Right. I think a bit of Macross plus love. So yep, no evolution on the red box. Okay, look at that smile on Arat's face. He's, he knows something good is coming soon. <laughs> and I hope it is. I hope that's the case. So yes, it's finally time to do it. We're gonna go pull that discounted template pool for Mikumo's Blau Bloom costume. And we can finally get a full set 
of Blah Bloom costumes for Valkyrie. And yes, uh, one of the other reasons that you should definitely try to unlock this costume is because all the Blah Bloom costumes have alternate color renditions. So eventually, Mikumo's Blah Bloom will get the, um, I would say, the five star treatment in the Kawawa rank or the Kawawa closet, depends on how you want to call it. So yeah, uh, definitely a costume that you must get um, sooner or later, especially if you want to improve the stats of Mikumo if she is your waifu. Alright, here we go. So we do get some decent load speeds at the start. Yep, there we go. So decent luck. That's okay. As long as we get costume points, I'm fine. Okay, three red boxes. So hopefully at least one of them evolve. This one, not likely. Okay, is this is this a new costume episode late? I hope it is. Okay. Oh, there it is! That's what I wanted to see. Okay, we have one more red box, which might evolve. I hope it does. Okay, it doesn't. So, okay, I see a few Mikumo episode plates. So, hopefully they are episode plates with the costume points. Uh, at least... At least we got the specific costume point episode plate for the Blau Bloom costume. That's good in my books. Still better than the last video. <laughs> so yes guys, um, you definitely need to leave a like on this video for me because this is definitely better than the last video. The last video was just horrible and uh, it was really really painful to experience even though we do get five star episode plates um but still not being able to get costume points um for that costume was really tough to go through because now i really have to um save up <laughs> or pray that at least a costume or rather a, a episode plate with those costume points appear in the future but you know it's a game that you just have to enjoy slowly. Don't don't give up on the game too quickly. I mean, all mobile games are repetitive. You know, just saying. Music games are there to be enjoyed. You know, and of course, play together with friends. Be passionate about things together, and that's why I'm a YouTuber. I'm here with you guys along the way to share your Utah Macross journey with you. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode of Utah Macross. Let me know your thoughts on the game. How has it been for you guys for 4 years worth of Utah Macross? Are you guys still enjoying my content? And of course, do the wonderful stuff as always. You know, like, share, subscribe. Yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye!